Hey guys, welcome to my wardrobe. I thought it's about time that I filmed some footage in here because I've been getting a lot of requests for me to do that. It only took me about two years. So do I have a treat for you today? I finally made a purchase from Marie Style, who I've had my eye on for ages. They are a company in Poland. So this will be a bit of a haul on three of their dresses, a handbag, a necklace, and some earrings. So keep on watching if you want to see some cool gothic fashion. Let's start with the dress that I've got on. So this is called the Moon Dress. And I've had my eye on this for absolutely months. It seemed like every time I went to the Restyle website, it was sold out. So I finally got that happy email where they said it was back in stock. As I mentioned, I haven't bought from this brand before, so I didn't really know what size to do. Killstar, I can be anywhere from like an extra small to small to medium. I normally go with a medium because extra smalls are just too tight for me. Smalls are slightly uncomfortable in the underarms and mediums just seem to be right. And these days I kind of like things to be a little bit looser. So this is a medium. It's a little short for my liking. I mean... <laughs> If you bend over, you're going to see what you had for breakfast. I wish they would add like just another inch to the length. I would hate to see how short the extra small is. So having said that, I would probably wear some opaque stockings underneath this or even some thin tights. I'm not sure how that would look, but I've done that before. There's with some Killstar dresses. Let me see if I can find the one I'm talking about. There's so much stuff in here. My bad. Okay, it's inside out, but there's this Killstar velvet dress. It's got this lovely pattern on it, and it's like a baby doll kind of dress. It's really short, it's too short. But with that, I put tights underneath it. It looks fantastic, so this will probably end up being exactly the same. The only downfall is that I bought it for summer. Australia is going into summer, and I didn't want to have to wear tights. So the option is I either st stand up all the time, or just be very careful. When I sit down, make sure that you cross your legs because I'm a lady. I'm glad I went with a medium in this one because there's this little band here and it has absolutely no stretch. And that's, that's hugging me like, why? Well, it's in no way uncomfortable, but I will put my measurements down in case you too haven't purchased from Restyle before and you're kind of wondering what size you should go with. The next thing I bought is this beautiful bag, which is called the Ominous Handbag. It almost looks like I designed it, doesn't it? It's very pretty. I love a spacious handbag and I think no look is complete without a handbag that matches the rest of your aesthetic. So I really like this. I like that it has pentagrams because we wouldn't want to do too many moons because it's just like fucking crazy. <laughs> I love that it's got velvet on it. I know that it's going to like get scuffed and fluff is going to attach to it, but I don't care. I love velvet. I love the different textures that you get there from the faux leather and then the darkness of the black. And I do that in my own bags as well. It looks awesome. It's quite large and it has a lot of space in it as well, which I like. It's got compartments inside. I've already got my stuff in it. It's plain black and I will be using the heck out of this. I wish it had a back pouch so you could kind of slip your phone in without having to dig inside your bag though. I've had some comments on Instagram and people are like they don't know how to use handbags. I don't think there's a rule for that. You can hold it like that. You can hold it like that or you, if the bag, like if the handles allow it, you can wear it up on your shoulder. It's a really individual taste. And honestly, if my kids are coming with me, determines what bag I pick to use that day. For example, I'm liking backpacks and things that I can put on my shoulders because I've got two little ones and I need free hands. I just, I simply can't hold a handbag as well as trying to hold their hands as well. It's a life struggle. I was not disappointed with the quality. That is absolutely fantastic. It came really well protected. All the hardware was covered. Let's move on to something else. The next thing I purchased were these gorgeous earrings. I think they're just simply called triangle moon earrings. I love the geometric shapes in there. You've got a lunar moon. And I just thought the shape was very unique, which I am all about. They're quite hard to see in amongst my black hair. I think if they had have had that style but in silver, I would have bought that because they kind of just disappear. But having said that, when I wear my hair up, you'll see them. All right, onto the next dress. This fabulous looking dress is called the cape dress. I've wanted this one for so long as well. It was sold out and the moment I saw it, I'm like, wow, that is such a unique design. As a first time buyer of this brand, the quality is crazy. I can't even tell you what this material is. It's really thick, 
but it's stretchy, but it's not spandex, it's heavy. It's a very... <laughs> I'm not a seamstress, I don't know how, how to explain it, but it's thick and... You know like when you wear spandex in dresses, it's unflattering? This is like a nice thick material. As you can see, it's a little bit loose, so I feel like there's some discrepancies within their sizes. So for example, that other dress that I just had on, the moon dress was a medium. And I don't think I could have gone down to a small, but with this one, it's quite loose here. It's a little looser than I'd like it to be, so I'm going to have to have it taken in. And if I pull it in like that, you can see it sits a lot better. But I'm pulling that in probably two inches at the back. I mean, it's not a deal breaker. I'd rather it be big and then have the option to be able to take it in. The worst thing ever is buying clothing that's just too small and it just makes you feel fat. So just imagine it pulled in. I think it looks absolutely stunning. Such a fabulous flattering cut. And I love this. I thought that would look really cool in a video clip. I'll be honest, that's why I bought it. I thought when I'm playing piano or something, that could look really cool. <laughs> There's also a little bit of room here, which I don't mind. I don't like dresses. I've told you this before, the older I get, I don't like bodycon dresses. They're just too restricting. So I'm really enjoying the medium here. There's a little bit of wiggle room. I just want it taken in a little bit there. This next dress is called the armor dress. It was the one I had the highest hopes for, but unfortunately I've been completely disappointed. There's quite a few things that are weird about this. It took me about 20 minutes to get into. I just can't, I can't commit to that. I like fashion, I'm gonna take the time to get ready, but I don't have 20 minutes to get into a dress. It didn't make sense. I actually put this on backwards. Because I thought that might have been the front. Because the tag is here. I've never seen a dress that has the tag at the front. Unless they photographed it wrong on their website. I don't, I don't get it. This is choking me. I couldn't even do it up. There's not enough ropey because I'm really passionate. I literally just spent half an hour trying to make this perfect for you guys. I still can't figure it out. I had to ask my husband for help and we couldn't figure it out together. And we're two pretty smart people. Anyway, if this is how it's supposed to go, I don't like that pressure on my neck. It feels a little constricting and like I'm being choked. This isn't sitting nicely. I love the idea of this dress. I love the idea of the corset at the back, which isn't sitting nicely. I love the idea of the hood. A dress with a hood I thought was so spooky, but you know what? It actually made more sense when I flipped it round. Maybe I'll try to do that for you now. Even that was a struggle. So doesn't that make more sense to you? It's not constricting me. I would probably undo that top one as well. I don't like things on my chest here. Being a medium, I would prefer the bottom of the skirt to be <laughs> completely contradicting myself, to be more tight like that. And then you'd wear, I don't know, a strapless bra or one that doesn't have gold on it. This just kind of sits a little bit like a potato sack. I actually prefer the front like that. I fucked the hood up a little bit. It's kind of about to fall off. <laughs> Look, that damn tag is up. At least the tag now is at the back. So honestly, that makes a lot more sense to me. <laughs> so if you buy this dress, just wear it backwards. <laughs> That's kind of fucking hilarious. Honestly, I'll probably take the hood out, take that in a little bit, and then we'll have a really nice looking dress for photos. I'll probably wear no bra and just do that up real nice and tight. I do love that the sleeves are long. I know I just spoke for the last like <laughs> four minutes about what I hate about this dress. Wear it backwards <laughs> and I don't hate it so much. I love those long sleeves. The material is stretchy. I like that. I like dresses with stretch. I love the idea behind this dress. I just think it needs a little bit of tweaking to get it completely correct. I don't think they should have done the corset through the hood. I think they should have attached that. But I mean, if they had the open back, they couldn't have done that. So if they did it my way and flipped it around and had a solid back, they could have attached the hood. <laughs> From a design point of view, it would have been a lot better. I also, I accidentally bought this, <laughs> which is way too busy to go with the dress. That's a lovely black Matte black. I don't think I have any jewelry that's matte black. It's just a moon-like necklace. 
It's really pretty. I think that will photograph really well. I do really like that the first dress that I tried on came with a spare button because they are a very specialized button. It's the same material as the dress, so that would be super hard to find if you were to lose one. Being in Australia, I will say the shipping took a little longer than I thought. I paid for express, but I think I was waiting a good three weeks. It felt like forever, seriously. It might have even been closer to a month. I would have hate to have done standard shipping to have seen how that went. All of that aside, I love the first two dresses. I'm in love with the handbag. The jewelry is very high quality and <laughs> it's so hilarious. But if you wear this dress backwards and with a little bit of tweaking, you can make it work. I just realized. I've lost an earring. I hope you've enjoyed my video on these Restyle products. Let me know if you've bought from them before. As I mentioned, this was my first time, so I did not know what to expect. This is not a sponsored video. I bought these all myself, so my opinions are my own, as always. I would rather be 100% honest with you guys than feed you a load of bullshit just to try to make money off an affiliate link or something like that. So I'd love to be affiliated with Restyle. <laughs> if they watch this, hit me up. Fuck, you know when you can't find the hole? Okay. We don't need you. We don't need that you. The kids are going to be home any moment. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Let me know what was your favorite item in the comments below. Please share, like this video, subscribe if you haven't already. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.